Hello, I'm a blonde girl, welcome to my spaceship. This is a game called Time Lie. Uh, I've had my eye on this game for quite a while, I was following it a little bit, and the whole time I was reading it as Timeline. And there is this diagonal line which does suggest Timeline, so it's my own fault. To get revenge on it, I think I'll pronounce it Tamili. Um, I played a little bit of it, just a little tiny bit. Um, it's given me vibes of The Gardens Between, which was a really nice time manipulation puzzle game. Very casual, very short. But had a really beautiful ending that made me cry. Um, yeah, it's given me vibes of that, so it's it seemed cool. So I thought I'd do a little quick look and look at the beginning of the game. Let's do that. Oh, it's about me. I, I had no idea. That's a lie. I knew because they paid me likeness rights. Generally, I don't like it when games don't let me control them. I'm Un skippable stuff, but this is cute, so I forgive it. So these dots, and I can move between these dots. I can go dot to dot, or I can just click all the way and go to that door. And the game is, you know, teaching me how to play it. Oh, it's set in Stoke-on-Trent. I had no idea. So I can go. I've, so I've done this bit before. I've had a look around, so I'm just going to go straight for the, uh, straight for the thingy. Because why not? Move around with right mouse button, and you just click things to move. And it's very pretty, right? The way things are lit, it's sort of sparse, sparse polys and all that. I like that. That pink light, nice. Oh no, it collapsed. There's a magic shiny thing. Let's go get it. That is semantically unclear. So we can obviously do a thing now, and this bridge has collapsed, and this is a time manipulation game, so I think I know what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen because I saw it a minute ago when I was playing it before. Okay, so this is the first, like, little puzzle, little tiny little puzzle. Right, let's go to these switches. I mean, at a glance, you can see that these, you know, this switch controls this door and this door, this switch controls this door. And so, so if I do this switch, I close myself in, but I open that door, so I don't want to do that. I want to do that. I want to go in here. And do that. And then I want to go back and do that because I forgot to get this. I'm going to get that. I'm not doing this very efficiently. I should have done that. Not about efficiency though, is it? And this is pretty. We love this pink light on everything. And this snow contrast background with syringes and chips. So another hole in the ground, so let's rewind that. Here's a little keypad. Okay, that's probably not good. All the robots are waking up. I don't think they're going to be friendly robots. 
is pretty though. Look, it looks like a nineteen seventies, not even nineteen, like nineteen sixties, nineteen seventies sci-fi book cover or something like that. Even more bits chasing me. This all happened in Star Content. I was growing up. And that happened during the war. The German chess waft division would drop giant chess pieces on Stoke on Trent, which is why it's such a fucking mess. Justin Kriegen. I think she's having a panic attack. These colours, beautiful. Get distracted by colours a lot. Run away from the robots, little girl. Get a cube. Ha, ah, fuck you, robot. Nope, fuck you, mate. Okay, so I love it when you can do this in games. I love it when you can scrub. Is the best thing. Look, I, like, I'm, I, when I was playing a minute ago, I played for probably about 10 minutes, and seven of those minutes was just doing this. I can love it. I'm, I won't do it for too long, I promise. I love it though. Okay. We want to go to there. The game's telling us where to go to. Uh, stand there. And then D to move time onwards while we stand still. Oh, went too far. And then, and now what? Oh, yeah. Hold on now. Rewind that. So, so far, it's just been rewinding floors that have collapsed. But, you know, it's got to teach us with something, I guess. Now it's going to tell us to play this, which is what we just did. I don't really get this because I just did it. So now it's going to show us all of that again, which is the thing that I just did. Maybe that matters later on and becomes a mechanic or something. But right now, I don't know why I don't know why I need to see this twice. But okay, I'm going to trust the game. Fuck you, Robert. Have a go. I mean, I guess, I guess, semantically, the point is that that is what happened. What I did was her foreseeing things, but not actually those things happening. And then this is what actually happened. I can, I can, I can go with that. I'm okay with that. I do hope it stops taking control of me so much, though. clock that's very thematic and doors and that's literally like a prison door i mean what i'm thinking initially is that she's kind of some like test subject i mean syringes and chess pieces to like train her mind or something she's in like the x-men training school for mutants in a bad way the mean x-men school or something like that or it could all be a metaphor who knows so i guess i click on this door this is as far as i got so i guess these are the four areas each with puzzles inside and i've got to do them and think i will say it's all new now you get to see how fucking dumb i am with puzzles which is why i love puzzle games because they keep me going forever okay i, I can Observe the enemy routine. Okay, so this is where it becomes a stealth game. We do that slower. Okay. So can I move? So I'm moving time back as and forth, but can I. 
Okay, as soon as he turns around, can I start moving? How do I open this door? Uh, uh, to the end. Oh, the door opens at a certain point. Okay. There we go. Right. That's not anything. That's another door. That keypad opens. Oh, did not mean to do that. That keypad opens that door and that door. Robert. Where's that Robert gonna go? Okay, back and forth there, and I'm trying to get to here. So. I. Okay. He's just going back and forth there, so when he's there, I'm going to go down here, I guess. It'd be helpful if I can get through this door. Can I go here? And then rewind the robot? No, that reminds me. I thought I could just stand still thing. Pick up feet to stand still. He's not... I guess she's standing still going oh, in the future. Okay. I was thinking I could stand there and rewind the robot back to here, but robot, robot. Okay, so so when he's there, might be fine. I go there. Okay. Now stand still. Robert goes there. In fact, as soon as he goes about there, I can probably start moving. Maybe. Yeah, looks good. I don't need to do that keypad. Oh, run! No. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was bad. I moved as quickly as I could. I think. Right, we stand still. Unless I can start like there. Oh, little girl. Mm. Okay. There's maybe a smarter way to do that with a keypad or something, but that worked. It is beautiful though, these lights, the colours, the cyan and the magenta. Run! Wait, what? <laughs> Did I wait this long? Okay, he's off. The stem pointlessly over there. It just makes me look like a fucking idiot. I'm supposed to be like prescient? And I and I did everything perfectly because I saw it was coming, and instead it just makes me look like a fucking fool. But I got to the door, so that's fine. Okay, I don't know how much to show really because I expect this is quite a short game. But I don't want to show too much. It might not be a short game. I don't know that for sure. Don't take my word for that. I might stop there. You get the gist from that, right? And it's beautiful, and it seems like lovely in terms of theme and the way the theme and the levels go together and stuff. So yeah, maybe I should stop there. So that's Melee. It's available on Steam for fifteen pounds or something. Oh, it's a Proton game. If you don't like Proton, don't tell me about it. I don't care. Tell somebody else. Um, that's about it. Goodbye. I love you.